you like. We're out here on the ranch. We're on the swamp buggy. With the dogs. Yeah, with the dogs. And we're going back to have a picnic. I was just over at camp. We were grinding up fresh deer meat. Now we got our uh, we got our grill. We're going back to camp. And you're gonna be seeing a lot of this ranch in the very near future. Look at all the turkeys. Out here, cows have the right of way. Right out there, that's called a broadleaf marsh. Here in Florida, we call it flag pond. This is our new Camp Chef grill. And this side is a hot plate, which I can use this to fry as well. But because I'm gonna be grilling deer burgers over here, I can just stack it up all right there. And fresh, that's fresh deer meat. Good, good, good. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Big mama. Okay, while well, Rob's busy getting all the grill ready, I'm just gonna take a quick walk, check out the place, and let my dogs run. They've been dying to get a good run in. So, a beautiful day. It is like, it's been so cold down here in Florida, and today it's like absolutely perfect. So, it's a good day to cook out, go for a little buggy ride, and hang out with the dogs. What are you guys thinking? Get over here, bud. Got some nice deer burgers. We actually just ground this up. Gonna use some cactus dust. This stuff is amazing. Nice coat of seasoning. Flip it over. With our burgers, we used an 80-20 mix. So for every 10 pounds of deer meat, we use two pounds of fat. Looks good, huh? Got some fresh baby zucchinis. Cut the tops off of them. This is a simple little recipe that you guys will love. All you gotta do is take your zucchinis and slice them just like this. Bart. Nice sliced zucchini. Take some regular Everglades. <laughs> you can do exactly what we're doing right now at any national park or state park or in your backyard, or on a tailgating trip, or on your piece of property that you hunt on. While I was out at SHOT Show, I found this company, it's called Camp Chef. I was cruising along, they had tons of awesome, just cooking stuff, like outdoor stuff, so I ordered some, just got here, and we're just starting to use it. It's awesome. It is really awesome. All right, so this is just too easy. I mean, who hasn't made a burger? Oh, nice. 
Look how good that looks. Okay, so you guys have been asking how we met. Well. Okay, so back in 2012, I took the owners of AMS Bow Fishing on an alligator hunt. And we had a great time, caught a big 11 foot, five inch alligator. And then I became friends with them on Facebook. Here's a little connection. I was a pro staff with AMS Bow Fishing, so I already knew all those guys. So once I saw that Rob was friends with them on Facebook, I, being curious, shot him a friend request. I'm sitting at my house looking at Facebook and then I see this friend request of this beautiful blonde haired girl holding a big carp. And I'm like, oh my God, who is this? So I start, you know, snooping through her pictures and I realize um, this very well could be my dream girl. So I send her a message and I'm like, hey, can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> and once I saw that he sent me a, a message, I then snooped through his photos to figure out who he was and talk to my friends to learn a little more, bit more about him. So once I did, we started Skyping and talking over the next two weeks. So then I decide I've absolutely got to meet this girl. So I say, hey, I'm going up to my friend's farm in Iowa. Why don't you pick me up in Madison, Wisconsin and we'll shoot over and hang out. And so we did, we hung out for four days. And during this time, I had just graduated and got a dental assisting degree. Well, I just got a dental assisting job at a dental office. And I was also working at Shields Sporting Goods Store. So I, those of you in the North would know who, what I'm talking about. But so I was working two jobs. And after we hung out for four days, I decided, seems like a cool guy. We got along great, had a great time. So I went back and quit both my jobs. I just gave them the two week notice and I packed up my bags and came down. So I said, why don't we, why don't we just try to figure things out till January? Mm -mm, that didn't work. Four days later, she's like, I'm quitting all my jobs. I'm giving them a two week notice. And I said, well, I'm getting ready to drive to Texas on a hunt. So I told her, fly to Dallas. I'll pick you up there. And uh, the rest is history. But check this out. This is me the very first time I ever laid eyes on my sweet, lovely wife, Sarah. She was Sarah Pomeranian back then. Well, this is a pretty unique situation. Don't find yourself doing this every day. You know. Well, that's a wrap. And yes, you're all thinking I'm crazy. So did my family, so did my friends. But this is how I see it. If you, if you move, you can always go back. It's not like you're stuck there permanently. So take a risk because look, now we're married and we're expecting our first child and it worked out. So you just never know when it'll work out. Take a risk because you never know. That's right. Hey, you fail at everything you don't try. Now. Little Aria, if I catch her kissing a boy the first time she ever sees him, she's gonna get a whooping. But Tebow. It worked out. And uh you guys, this is just you're actually seeing a real genuine look at how we live. This is just no holds bar, Rob and Sarah, deer meat for dinner, having a blast. And as soon as we get done eating, these two lovely deer burgers. We're going for another buggy ride. So hey, here's to meeting on Facebook, falling in love, getting married, and having our first baby very soon. Yes. We love you guys too. Lord, I thank you very much for this day, for this wonderful world and this beautiful life you've given us. Thank you so much for our YouTube channel and all of our wonderful YouTube friends. Lord, please nourish this food to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, let's try and it out. I forgot I had cheese, so. Hey. No hurting it putting on last. Well, look at that. Ooh. It is really good. Don't get no better now. But we gotta eat fast. <laughs> It 
is so beautiful. Like the color of the sky right now, oh. you just can't explain how pretty it is. Mm -hmm. Whoa, come on. Come on, Mark. Get up there. Don't rip. <laughs> I didn't even get that. Get up here. just really beautiful just to be able to come out here, ride around, look at wildlife, let the dogs run, and have a good time. Good stuff. All right, now it's getting late. We're gonna probably head back, clean up a little bit more. Something's stuck up there underneath it. That's a bird. There's a bird. <gasps> I wanna catch it. I wanna catch There's it. There's a bird in that. There's a, okay, we're gonna help a baby bird instead, or not a baby, but we're gonna help a bird instead. I wanna help it. Yeah. Well. I get to. There's a bird. Hi, it's okay. <laughs> oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go, babe. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> You, you don't gotta be see smarter that. than the cage box, though. You don't see that very often. All right, well, it's getting kind of dark, so we're gonna head back, clean up camp, and call it a night. But we had a great time. You can't be just driving around looking at property, having a cookout. Nothing, nothing beats that. So we thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. We always appreciate the kind words, and we will see you next time. We out.